Okay, so on uh, last video, I got the, uh, I'm, I'm converting, taking this out of here. It's a parallel breakout board, putting the USB in. And on the last video, I did the steppers. I explained that it's pulsing with negative and returning with positive. And here's where it comes in. It's going in on the negative side, coming out on the positive back to the board. It gets the five volts from, from the computer, from the USB. And that's that whole line there. That's everything I got hooked up, except for this yellow line goes to an output of the VFD. It's a 10 volt uh, reference voltage. So it's coming out of here, it's going up here and it's telling this board this is what the VFD sees as 10 volts. And then it um, does its thing and sends out proper response. So this board has at the top AVI and your, your VFD does as well. So I think it's this one right here. It's, it's, Get under there. Yes. No, that's ACM. Um, VI is the black one. Right. So the top one is black. AVI is VI on that one. ACM is the red one. That's the positive. And 24 volts in is here on 24 volts positive. And DCM is ground. And DCM is shared by it's the input of the 12, 24 volts. It's also got the ground for the uh, the e-stop and the ground for um, the VFD. So the DCM has a has a DCM over here as well. So that's being used. And um, what else we got here? Yeah, the N N1. That's the e-stop. And the out one, that is the forward uh, switch to tell this to go. Uh, I think that's all the connections. But what I did was I split the the green wire. It's coming out of here, comes up here. Normally it would just go into your forward, but I've I've sent it on. I've I didn't put it into the forward. I sent it on over to this this switch here forward and reverse and it's raining so this switch the green comes comes into the center of the switch and depending on which way you switch it forward or reverse uh, it'll send it back um, through either the red or yellow and that is hooked up, they are hooked up into my forward and reverse, red and yellow. So that's basically the green is either or at this, you know. I, if you don't, don't put a switch on it, you'll just put the green right on up here to forward. And I'm gonna, I was thinking I may take that switch out and go with output two to go to reverse. But then you've only got two more outputs. So I don't know. I got three outputs. And if I want to keep three outputs, I'll leave it as it is. For me, it's it's okay to just use it here. I am curious to uh, to see if see if I could operate the M4. See M3 is clockwise, and M4 is counterclockwise reverse. So I'd like to try it, but I think it will work with the uh, spindle setup page. And I'll show you that right now. You got everything turned off so it's not so noisy. All right, so go to motor outputs and you'll turn the spindle on. Um, I got three one, I've got three one over here also. I don't know if that matters, but saw it somewhere on the internet, so. 
uh, output, I'm using output one, so you gotta turn that on, and it's three one. Spindle, I don't know why. I don't understand if you're what spindle relays I'm disabling or not, but I've got that unchecked. I've got the uh, output of the spindle uh, forward on output one. So like I said, I could put counterclockwise on two if I want to, I think. And then I've got these two checked. I think it comes like this normally. And you do that and I've got 400 here and zero I like it to go right down to nothing a lot of people start that a lot higher and, and you know the motors not supposed to go down that low but oh well um, that's pretty much it for that you apply it okay um, then if you if you, you got to go down to spinner pulleys and I don't know where this is referred to from like it defaults on four and I've got it on one. I don't know if that matters. Uh, anyway, it's minimum speed, maximum speed ratio. And, you know, I, I looked at other stuff like the general configuration. I don't see anything referring to, you know, what number pulley it is. I don't see it anywhere yet, but it seems to be working. I don't know. Did I show everything? I think I did. Um, you look at my paper. On my paper. On my paper. Yes, yeah, the spindle. Turn it on. 31XX31. Uh, output signals, output one, and then three one X on the breakout board to the forward on the VFD. Spindle setup M3 outputs. Yes, we looked at that. Spindle, I guess that's it. All right, so we'll look at the, um, we'll look at the VFD settings. I'll just take a good picture of it and just talk about it a little bit, but uh, move the jumper from VR to VI on lower right side of VFD. I couldn't get this to work when I first built this machine. Oh, this lamp is in the way. All right, so I couldn't get this thing to work. And I read the internet for days, about three days before I found a reference to this little jumper and it was on VR it was over to the right and I had to put it on the left and until I did that it wouldn't take any command from from the computer of course that might not be the answer it could have been something I did simultaneously instead of even doing one thing at a time but anyway that's what I had to do or at least I think I had to do and then I reset to factory settings because when I first set this up, I had less clue than I have now. So I'm, I started from scratch here <clears throat> and I uh, went through the settings. So I turned, it to, turned P2 to 1 so that I can use the knob to change the RPMs to test it. And um, yeah, that's, um, that's just settings. Go to the second page. Second page, I jump from uh, P11. I like said P13 is the fact sets factory reset, and I jump. I don't know what P12 was. Probably some default. Uh, P70. It, you have to set it to your um, how do you're going to control the the VFD RPMs. I'm controlling it with zero to ten volts, I think. You know what? I'm not even sure. I better double check that. But I think that's what I'm using is zero zero to ten volts. So I set it to zero. Um, 
P72 and P73 are important. That sets your um, minimum and max. I've got my maximum RPM at 24,000 and my minimum at 20 hertz. 20, yeah, 20 hertz. Uh, that gives me 1,200 RPMs. Which I think is what they say these motors don't want to run any lower than 1,000 or 1,500. You know, that's on the low side of what they recommend or something like that. I think I read it somewhere. 141 is, I think, maximum volts. 142 is maximum amps. They said to set it for 10. I've set mine for 11. So I'm greedy. Um, rated RPMs of the motor. They've, it, it, it is uh, set, calculated at uh, 50 hertz, not 60. So it's 3,000. Uh, that may be changed at some point when I, uh, calibrate the RPMs possibly. I'm, I'm not sure. And then when you're done with all your settings, go back to P1 and that sets the source of commands and I set it to one. I don't know if it matters if you put that to one first, but I didn't do it until last. So that's where I put it, the uh, instructions. So that's what I got going. It works. The only problem is when I was working out the steppers, I didn't figure it out correctly right off the bat, but I was confident and I turned it on and broke, broke the coupler. You can see it's just a 3D print of, um, from this nut to this right here. I'll show you on the other side real quick. So I haven't even tested this thing with g-code yet but that's it right there just wraps around the nut and then screw down there luckily i did 3d print that and it was able to just bust off of there and not much trouble so part of it's back here still it's just pla i may reprint it with with abs i don't know it may be good that i did it with pla Probably about the same. Who knows? It's it's pretty thin walls. That might be what really contributed to getting it tore easily. Not very much material there. And then there's holes making it even weaker. So, anyway, I haven't tested it. I've jogged it around. And, and all that works. I expect it to work. Just like normal. I just got to reprint those those two couplers and put it back together. And then, then maybe I'll make another video of it running. I don't know. Or I guess what? Um, if if I don't say anything else, then you know, no no news is good news. It's probably working. If I make another video on it, that means uh, I did something wrong, and I had to um, make a video to um, document that. All right. That's it.